my lovelies, how are you doing today? I hope you've all had fabulous weekends and I know some of you are just getting up to start your Sunday, lucky you. We are in the darkness now. Oh no, and our Sunday's running out. Our Sunday's running out, but that's Over okay because we've got a great week ahead of us, so that's going to be fantastic. So, what we thought we'd do is, it is, tomorrow will be one whole month since I had my operation in Tombol, Texas. Um, so we thought we'd show you how my scar is doing, because I know a lot of you want to see. We have got this fabulous cream that we've been sent, do do do, by the lovely Leanne. Is on our fridge. On our fridge. We're just going to show you her again. And I'm wearing my outdoor workshop clothes because I've been all day, in fact, all day, and all day yesterday, and all day yesterday. And quite a lot of Friday, but then we had to stop. I had to stop and have a break because we had to go to the lovely Norwin's funeral, which was really nice. And yeah, it was. It was a lovely day, wasn't it? It was really nice. And we held up all the traffic in the town while we walked through the town with the hearse really slowly and everyone had to wait and it was lovely. Norwin would have really liked that. Oh, she would have absolutely loved it. But I think if you spend almost 100 years in a village, living in the house that you were born in, you deserve to hold the traffic up, don't you? I think so. I think she earned the right. So it was lovely. And we went up yesterday to see her grave. Now it's all covered and everything and made sure the flowers were all nice. And we picked up some acorns for our piggies from the tree that, that grows in the middle of the cemetery. And it's a really lovely little cemetery, really quiet. It's beautiful. Um, yeah. And it's got a giant oak tree in the middle of it. And she's buried sort of a little bit just further out yeah. of the reach of it. Buried next to her brother and her mum and her dad yeah and her sister's just over the other side on the other side yeah and it was and really nice and it was just a really nice day and we went to the uh, went to the pub afterwards for a wake and had lots of lovely cakes and things that the lovely yo who used to look after Nori made that were very nice I didn't and have any cakes because they weren't vegan I ate everything really <laughs> Everything that he No, he wouldn't have liked any waste, so I made sure there wasn't no. any. And she would have really liked it, and um, it was really lovely. Yeah, it was lovely, wasn't yeah. it? And, and it my mum a... came as well, especially. Yes, yeah, she came um, because she was so grateful to Noreen for providing a roof over her little family's heads. So it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was lovely. And then I've been busy in my shed all day. I'm going to be really quick. Man, really quick sneak preview, it's so not finished yet, but and I have made videos of how I'm doing, but just really quickly. <laughs> and that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like? Tell me what you like. Because it's not finished yet, I've still got to put the pickup in, and I've got to do oh, lots of things, and I'm still waiting for a tool, because I've been really got into buying woodwork tools recently. And I was playing with my just a little bit. playing with my electric planer and the chop saw all day, and it was all, yeah, making loads of noise. It was great. Loved it. <laughs> and what did you do with your new planer today? What happened? I to planed it? things with it. And what, what did you do? <laughs> I planed a nail by accident and damaged the blade slightly. <laughs> Literally, like oh look at this, oh dear. <laughs> but it's okay, and it still planes fine. <laughs> And there's nothing it's a little groove in the middle of it. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. And, and then I need it. He's doing that swaying thing when he knows I have he's a done job, something. I have a job on at the moment. I'm working for someone at the moment, a very lovely lady, who's actually, I can't say who and I can't say what because she's quite private. But she's the daughter of a very famous rock star, and that's all I'll say. Yeah, and, and she may also be watching. So She may be watching. Oh, yeah. So, hello if you're watching. <laughs> right. Le, le back. Yes. So, Le back. we're going to give it a little wash. Going to give it a little wash. Shall I show you my back? I don't know if you can see. Can they see, darling? Um, yeah. You can see. So. so, we're going to put a little bit of warm water. Nice warm water, a bit of soap. And a little bit of soapy wopey. So just going to give it. Soapy wopey. <laughs> and I'm going to give it a little wash. Darling, I think you've been in your shed too long. Soapy wopey. Well, that feels nice. Will you go a little bit over to that side? Oh, that's really itchy on that so side. So there's some lovely soap on it. And then I'm going to rinse it off. Rinse it off. 
rinse it off. I'm not wearing gloves anymore because there is no hole or infection or anything, so it's all no hole. No My infection. back is holeless. It's just a little scratch. Feels really good. This bit here is absolutely pucker, which is a typical English thing. To say. Pucker. Pucker. Although pucker, although pucker is an English word, it actually comes from India. Does it? It's an Indian word, which we adopted apparently. We adopted. Yes. And what does it mean in Indian? Well, it's like good, isn't it? I don't know. I think yeah. I'm learning from you, darling. So there we go, nice and dry and clean and looking absolutely spanking. Spanking. I hope that doesn't mean you're going to spank it, darling. No. Right. So let's get the uh, psychiatricure. Yes. So psychiatricure. Psychiatricure. I can't say it either. I know that you guys will be able to say it. We're going to open this and we're going to put it on because I was waiting for the scab to drop off. Has the scab dropped off? Mm. It's very small. Très petite. So I'm going to administer it. Administer nursing jobs. <laughs> my last bit of nursing. So we thought we'd have to wait until I'm the scab was off. To say something. He's going At to say point. something that really drives me insane. Because it's from a film. That... <laughs> it's just horrible. And yeah. it's just like he does it all the time. So you'll have to undo that. It's like a lotion. And what do we do with the lotion? Darling, <laughs> please don't say it. It puts the lotion on its no! body. <laughs> you know what I do <laughs> when he says that to me? I put an R.E.M. song on. No, 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 no. Yes, R.E.M. Shiny, happy people. Shabra! Yeah, oh, he nearly swore that. So if you Sorry. say that, then I have to put that on. Oh, it's like, I can't even see because I've got it's my glasses like, um, on. It's a bit like some of the glue I use, actually. It probably stick things really well. Right. I'm going to administer it, the lotion. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Darling, what are you doing? I'm putting the lotion. <laughs> Sunny, it, happy it's people up. having fun. It's from a film, by the way, what I'm saying. You probably might have seen it, you might not. It's from Can Silence you go of the Lambs. to the right? Can you get it all over the stuff that's all bruised? Yeah. So he tortures me by saying, It puts the lotion on its body, which I absolutely just like, just. Look, I've got goosebumps. See those goosebumps? I don't like it. I even called up the clip of the film from YouTube the other day and had it playing. Oh, and with so the, then... With, with the woman screaming hysterically. And, <laughs> and Susan put R.E.M. on, which I have to say, I don't know, I'm sorry if any of you are R.E.M. fans, but I can't stand them. He can't stand them, and he's really childish about it. If it comes on the radio, he has to literally leap across mountains to turn it off in a really ridiculous way, which is so childish. Well, you know, we all have... So I apologise if any of you are REM fans, but I'm I think they're not. great, and I particularly like shiny, happy people. Yeah. Shiny, happy people. I don't know why I'm trying to put people. this back in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? So, so there um, it is. I'm just going to show it to you once more and hold nice and still. Is it close enough? Is it good? Is it... That is a sh kind of a shadow there, a bit, and here, and stuff. But it's looking really good. Is it looking better than it was? Yeah, I mean, all this, this bit here, let me step forward, this bit here is completely like, it's just a tiny line. And there's a little dent there, and there's a bit of a dent there, and then it's all just really nice. Slightly swollen kind of, I guess, because it's had a, a right hammering. <laughs> <laughs> technical term, technical nursing term. But yes, in my, in my medical, limited medical experience, it's looking <laughs> damn good. Damn good. I'm so, looking damn good, apparently. So, so anyway, so I need to finish my beer, open another one, <laughs> and um, I'm going to go down to Playing a few more nails with your new tool. It was an accident. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> it's all right, it's good.
Because I'm going to build more cigar box guitars, this is why I've spent more on tools than I have on the guitar now, but they're just cool, I like woodworking tools, I just like the yeah. tools. And yeah, they, they make big whirry noises and stuff flies everywhere and it's great. Yeah, it's like, a, like a proper man in his man cave. Although I did it all today outside in the garden because it was such a nice day. So I was outside working today and then it got dark because I had to go back inside, but yeah. yeah. So This is why I'm wearing my warm outside outside things. And I've had to put this dress on because you can see my back. Oh look, look what's happened. Uh oh, Jungo, he's drinking beer. Drunk in charge of a back. Drinking Amstel today, which I believe is a Dutch beer, isn't it? Amstel. Um, is it Dutch? Yes, I think it is actually. Brewed in Edinburgh. Edinburgh, there we go. <laughs> Where I used to live. Dutch Edinburgh. Dutch Edinburgh. Anyway, Liam. Thank you so much for the cream. So we're going to see how this works. I have to say, I've eaten all the sweets. All of the sweets are I gone. They were delicious. Like, well, they've gone now, but I've, the jelly bean things, I can't remember what they were called now. They were called Ike and something Mike and Ike. Mike, Mike and Ike. Mike and Ike. They were very nice. Others. I like them. You can't buy them in England, so they were good. I did like them. They yeah, were very Finian nice. liked those as well. He did as well. He didn't get to eat too many. No. Um, <laughs> the the naughty. chocolate... The, the malted balls, they're a bit like Maltesers. But harder, weren't they? But sort of harder. Yeah. And the other things kind of really not like anything we have over here, but no, they were all good. Butterfingers. Yeah, they all, they all they got eaten. They were really nice. They all got eaten. And, um, and Susan was like, oh, I'm on a diet, so I managed to eat most of them. So that was good. Not on a diet. Well, I Going back to my plant-based, yes. whole food, healthy eating, because I'm healing my back, and healing my And I'm on a diet skull. too, of just beer and chocolate. He's just terrible. And, uh, yes. I haven't done much cooking recently, been eating He just keeps lots getting lunch. takeouts all the time. Because oh, he's it. he's too busy. I'm kinda lazy sure. and I like them. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do with this man? Well, you know. Anyway. I shall have to get I shall have to get Dr. Gilmore on to you. Yeah. <laughs> so shall we go then? Yes, we'll go now. Um, we do have the P.O. box is there. I will actually put it in the comments of this not the comments I'll put it in the description of this video and Meta7 is the website is almost up I had a few technical issues with some currency there we go Meta7 <laughs> God he's had too many beers <laughs> I'm going to knock you over the head with your beer in a minute right okay so over and out from us um, so there's a little update on the my back and um, another sneak view of the <laughs> very quick one. He's, he's been doing a video for you and I'll put that up. So what I'm gonna put up for you after this video is the other buzz track, because lots of you have been asking if we could put some more of Winx Band's music up. So we have one more video, so I'll, I'll also put that up for you. All right then, lots of love and see you soon. I see you tomorrow night, uh, midnight UK time six o'clock Texas time for our vegan club healthy eating getting your health back and in. all things he's not in that because he's just club. so naughty not in the vegan club not in the naughty he's in the naughty corner <laughs> and I, I've been wearing this hat pretty much since I came back from Texas because I really like it yeah it looks so lovely and I don't normally wear you. hats very often but I've really got into this one and it's kind of helping cover up my silly baldy head that's getting a bit Darling, weird. you haven't got a silly baldy head. You've got a lovely, bird, that that lovely precious head. Yeah, and I think it goes well with my guitar. Oh, look, I've got, I've got sawdust on my arm. Sawdust. I had sawdust all over everything today. Yeah. Well, I was standing know, in the way where all the sawdust You were too close to my power tools <laughs> when, I was, in my face. when I was power tooling. Power tooling. What is he like? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right, then. You're desperate to get back to your... You're desperate to get back to his... Yeah tools yeah and his guitar yeah i do a bit more stuff i can't say stuff he's going to do some stuff yeah. in his shed although it looks pretty much finished at the moment it actually has got quite a lot more to do because yeah. i've got to put the pickup in and i have to route a hole for the pickup and everything and so though i need to route one little hole that i could probably just file and cut over the saw i've bought a router <laughs> And he's waiting for it to be delivered. Yes. Is it coming tomorrow? No, well, it says, it says like next week or something, and Monday oh. or something, next week, like as in a whole week to wait. I and I've got a, and I've got a circular to hole it. saw thing coming as well for cutting the sound hole in the side, for putting my little thing in. Um, so I'm probably just going to explode with. <laughs>
<laughs> over not being able to wait for these things. So do you think you might? And then do as it soon as hand? this is finished, I'm already thinking about. You see, because this is a three string one, I'm thinking I need to make a four string one, possibly a six string, and maybe a fretless one. And then my friend is learning the ukulele, so I think he needs a ukulele guitar. Cigar box. Yeah, guitar. It's, it's, I can't remember what it's called. It's cigar a box. Cigar box. Ukulele. A cigar galaley. Cigar galaley. I bet you won't be able to yeah, say that later. Because I owe him a few more beers. I owe him some money because he's bought me a toy. Because I have other hobbies as well, which you'll probably get to see. This other thing I'm going to build, which isn't an instrument or anything. It's just a toy. A toy. He but has many toys. How many toys do you actually have, Wayne? What do you mean? How many toys do you have? How many? How many a lot? How many aeroplanes have you got? About twenty something. Twenty remote con remote control. Yeah, radio controlled. Radio controlled aeroplanes. Yes. Today would have been a perfect day to go flying. In fact, this whole weekend would have been perfect for flying. But I didn't because I was too excited. Um, <laughs> next weekend, my friend Reg, who's a lovely chap, he's built a massive Mitsubishi Zero, which we're going to go and test fly, and he wants me to film it, which will go up on my channel. For any of you that are subscribed to my aeroplane videos, which probably you don't think are that interesting, but <laughs> I like them. You like them, don't you? Yes, and I have lots of toys there. I have, I have mountain bikes, I have a ma really nice motorbike as well, which is going yeah. for a really massive service next Monday, which is going to cost me lots of money. Um, and then I'm going to get it back just in time to not be able to ride it for the whole, week, the whole winter. And what's your motorbike? My motorbike is a Repsol Edition CBR1000. Fireblade and it's gorgeous. under Fireblade. It is gorgeous, actually. Yes, and it's very, very, very fast. Yeah, a bit like you. Yes. Anyway, he hasn't okay. changed Still since we were kids. Toys, 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 yeah. toys, and more toys. Mwah. I Bye. love you, my lovelies, and Bye. we will see you soon. See you on Monday. Don't forget to tune in live, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your Sundays. Bye.